Hey guys, today we are going to create bevel gear. This video is created with an assumption that you are a beginner in SOLIDWORKS. This video has two sections. The first part will be understanding the drawing and the second will be creating the 3D model. So let's begin. Okay, here you can see the side view. This is the cross-sectional view and here you have the top view. And this is the detail view. This is the detail view of this part. It is denoted by A and here it is given that detail A. And this is the cross-sectional view as it is denoted by B and here it is mentioned as section BB. So in the cross-sectional view they have given all the dimensions and about the teeth details it is given in detail here. So that's it about the drawing there is nothing much in the drawing so we'll start with 3d modeling now go to file click new select part and then ok now you can set the unit from the right bottom here I'm gonna select millimeters and then select the plane I'm gonna select front plane click on that and click on sketch okay okay now I'm gonna start designing based on the cross-sectional view so for that I'm gonna make a center line first and make a shape similar to that is shown in the cross-sectional view okay now using smart dimensions we'll give the dimension the side is 85 and here we have to define the angle of the side before that click on this horizontal line and click on the inclined line it's already 45 so click ok just simply click and drag and give the dimension as 28 and this side is 26 Okay, now we are done. Now we'll exit sketch. Oh, one more side is left. This side is 24. Okay. So now our sketch has turned from blue to black. That means my sketch is completely defined you'll get to know that from here also here it is written fully defined now now exit sketch go to features i'm gonna use this feature today revolved boss so click on that a pop-up came showing that my sketch is open just because i haven't connected here Click the S and then yeah. yeah or this axis of revolution was automatically selected so click OK. Now we have got this. Okay, so the next thing to do is to get the teeth cut uh, for our gear. So for that we need a plane that is parallel to this inclined surface so to create that inclined plane go to front plane it's already in sketch so i'm not selecting sketch make a center line and then i'm gonna make a 
inclined line too. Converting to construction line. Okay. Now go to this option in Sketch. Convert entities and just click on this portion. Okay. I think you are able to see when you move your uh, cursor to this part you can see that only this line is highlighted so click on that and click ok now go to relations display relation display or delete and uh, delete relation in sketch select add relation click on our line and this line and give the relation for linear okay done features mm, features go to reference geometry click on that and select plane so here for the first reference i'm gonna give this line and for the second reference I'll click on this inclined surface okay, we got a new plane here now we are gonna sketch on this plane so for this so for that go to plane and click sketch forgot to make it normal we'll make it normal yeah now we are gonna make the teeth cuttings okay so for that I'll make a center line here okay and click on arc and select tangent arc just click and we'll connect them and using trim entities and trim to close it And I'm deleting this yeah now as per the drawing we know that this dimension is 5 just the half of them okay I'm taking half of them and this radius is 40 And we'll give the distance between these two points is twenty six. Okay, and I'm gonna adjust this point slightly inside. Okay, gonna just click on that and drag to adjust okay done now I'm using mirror entities and for entities to mirror I'm gonna select these things and to mirror about I'm gonna select the center line okay now we have got the cutting now go to features and use the option extruded cut here I'm gonna select up to nest okay and then click ok we have got 
a single cutting now we want this on this end a inclined surface okay so for that I'm gonna use circular pattern and for direction I'm using this center line see here God here you can adjust the number of teeth you want I'll make it like 18 I think 18 will be fine click OK yeah now if you want to adjust this uh, you can see the upper surface has a got an inclination so if you want to adjust this uh, inclination you can go to cut extrude click on that and then edit feature here you can click on draft and you can give the degree I think 2 degree will be fine click ok see you can see that the inclination has reduced on this face so now what is left is the center hall here so for that just simply click on that surface click normal to go to sketch click on sketch and the radius of the circle is 25 so using smart dimension here they are asking for the dia so i'm giving it 50. okay done exit sketch go to features using extruded cut through all done now you can just click on this plane and hide from here I'm gonna hide this sketch too now from this right side go to material click on that then edit material and you can select the material you want here you have the other options like appearance and properties of the material is visible at here so i want something like a shiny surface so i'll go for this click apply and close okay so this is the final rendered view of the bevel gear we have created so do let me know your suggestions in comment box and don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm dipti matthew thanks for watching